All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepigas Show. I am Lepigas with a day five Minnesota Vikings free agency recap. And let's not uh, let's not kid ourselves. Phase one of uh, free agency is basically over. Wave one, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all the big signs have pretty much been made. Um, now we're going to get to this phase where we kind of just see sporadic signings up until the draft. Uh, and then maybe another surge after the draft as teams are looking to fill the rosters before training camp gets rolling. Um, there's still some things to talk about regarding the Minnesota Vikings today and what went down on the fifth day of free agency. Uh, first of all, when it comes to the Vikings themselves, uh, a lot of rumblings about them showing interest in Forrest Lamp, the guard from the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, I'm not going to lie, Forrest Lamp was a big draft crush of mine a couple years ago, mostly because his name was Lamp. Um, and this guy, you know, if the Vikings do sign him, will he be the best guard on the roster? Yes. Is he an upgrade over what we had last year? That's from, that remains to be seen. Uh, this guy was overall, I think PFF grade was like 48.0. Uh, his pass rushing or pass blocking grade was much better than what we had currently on our roster last year. But um, I don't know. I guess by default, he will be better. But I, if I'm a Vikings fan, I, I wouldn't get super excited about this signing. Um, it does give you a little more talent there. But I really don't know how much of an upgrade he really truly would be. He's been injury prone. Um so, I mean, it would be a fairly cheap prove-it kind of a deal. So he would come at a fairly uh, desirable price for the Vikings, but we'll see how much he could actually help the team. We'll see. He hasn't signed yet, uh, but there's rumblings that that could happen. A couple former Vikings found new homes today. Riley Reef was the first one signing a one-year $7.5 million deal with the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, interesting, you know, you'll wonder if the Vikings, you know, could have restructured that down to a point where they could have afforded him. Um but $7.5 million for one year is probably out of their price range. Uh, this would be interesting for the Bengals' uh, draft spot at pick five. You know, one year def definitely does not stop them from picking a, uh, a tackle at five. I think P P9 Sewell is still very much in play there if he's on the board. Um, but also does give them some flexibility. They could look at a receiver now or a, or a tight end like Kyle Pitts. So uh, Bengals, it's a good signing. Uh, Riley Reeve still has plenty left in the tank. And... Um, you know, he can be their left tackle next year, hold that down, and, uh, yeah, maybe they can look for a dangerous weapon for their young quarterback if, if he gets back on the field next year. Uh, and then the other signing was Anthony Harris, signs with the Philadelphia Eagles, one year, $5 million. This one doesn't chat my ass so much just because, you know, when a player gives up on a team during a game, uh, it just really rubbed me the wrong way, and he clearly did that in the game against the Saints. Harris wasn't even freaking trying out there. Um, and he goes to a team that I hate, the Eagles. So I don't love where he ended up. Uh, he only got one year, five million. I think this guy was expecting a huge payday. Uh, but the way the market was set for safety is it, it wasn't uh, really meant, it wasn't really in the cards. But one year deal for Anthony Harris, uh, five million. Who knows? Maybe he'll be one of these Vikings that comes back if he flames out in Philadelphia. But Good for Anthony Harris. I, I, I can only assume he was expecting to get a little bit of a longer deal, a little more money up front, but uh, it is what it is. Um, Anthony Harris, good luck in Philadelphia. Thank you for uh, for the most part of your career. You know, you like to see a guy go from undrafted to uh, getting paid, so good for him. Uh, there still is some Vikings, though, who are out there who have not yet been signed. Eric Wilson is kind of the big head scratcher. I, I thought this guy would get a lot of money in free agency. I, I haven't really heard him visiting with anybody at this point. I don't know what's going on with Eric Wilson and his league-wide interest. It does not seem to be very much at all. Jill Johnson, no surprise, he's still available. Dakota Dozier, also still looking for work. So there's some Vikings out there who are still looking for jobs. Um, the last bit of news today was that the Minnesota Vikings were penalized or penalized, however you want to say it. I prefer penalized uh, for some salary cap violations. That's something to do with the practice player practice squad player i don't know the details all i know is that it cost them their seventh round pick this year so minnesota vikings still lead the, lead the nfl in draft picks they have 11 overall but they do not have a seventh round pick at this point which you know late in the draft and you're getting real juiced and um gives you something to look forward to the vikings still have one more pick in the seventh round at this point uh they don't doesn't mean the whole slick rick isn't going to move around and acquire a seventh round pick in the draft at some point i'm sure he will um but right now, the Minnesota Vikings draft will be over in round six, which is fine. I would rather trade those picks up and pick again in like round four or five than dink around and try to get all these crapshoot kind of players. Uh, they either don't make the team or don't pan out. But Rick Spielman's track record beyond round five is not great.
So that's it. That is your Vikings free agency recap for day five. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be jumping back in probably a couple of times a week just to see where we're at, if anything's happening, talk about the rumblings that have been going on. But that has been your uh, – that's it. You know, NFL free agency, I don't say it's over, but the exciting parts are really winding down. So there'll still be some signings here and there. But for the most part, the free, agent, free agency frenzy has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you always keep your skull in your hole.